Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing one minute on ICC. This is my first game of the session. Let's see what happens against Mr. Urin Tumin. Um, I'm going to try to recover this pawn on e5, but I can't take it right away. Is the only thing. So, he's going to try to make it difficult for me to recover the pawn. I'm going to get it back. My pawn structure is a little damaged, though. Hopefully that doesn't matter too much. Uh, I'm going to try to maneuver my knight here, attack his e4 pawn. He let me win his e4 pawn. I'll go here just to get out of the attack. Uh, knight c3 seems like a good move. Maybe knight b5. This queen is kind of trapped now. Also, I can do this move. He can play rook e3, but I'll play f5. Uh, no, he does not want to do that. Hmm, I didn't see that, but okay, that's probably a good move. Now I can do it here, though. I'm attacking both his rooks, or his rook and his, also his knight. So this is a nice move. I think I'm going to win a piece, although he has some play. I'll go h5 just to get my king out of the way. And I hope to introduce this rook into the equation. If I can simplify a little bit, that would be ideal. He's got to watch his back rank now. He's probably not going to trade rooks Check. with me. Um, yeah, but now he's really on the ropes. I can go queen e2 next. Attacking f2. I'm going to get into this square, and this is mate incoming. He resigned. All right, that turned out well for the first game. I'm 25-46. Oh, Ned Wiss again. My nemesis, Mr. Ned Wiss. I think he's pre-moving a little bit too much. Maybe I can catch him in a pre-move. That would be pretty cool. Um, this guy's just really, really fast. hes I don't think he plays like that much better than me, if at all but he's extremely fast. So those are the toughest opponents for me. I've said before on this channel, like the opponents that give me the most problems are the quick ones because I just, I have a tough time uh, playing them even in, even in bullet. Like I'll get into situations. He's just letting me win these pawns at will. I'll get into situations where I know I have a better position and I know I'm close to winning, but I can't quite uh, seal the deal, let's say. Okay, this is this is fantastic for me. Uh, let's do check. a check here. Maybe check, check. here. I'm going to win his f2 pawn. Check. And let's give another check. Check. And maybe come back. But yeah, I get into positions where I know I'm winning and I know I should win. And I try to find the best solution. I'm trying to come to g5 right here. He's being stubborn Check. and not letting that happen. Surprised he's not trying to win any of my queenside pawns. Time warning. Mm -hmm. Time warning, of course. Ooh. Okay, that's slightly annoying. I'm going to try to go f5 now, followed by g4. Check. Oh, he just does enough to be annoying. It's so irritating. I have like mate and a couple. Check. Check mate. All right. Yeah. So got Ned Wiss that time finally. He's probably going to rematch me right away because I just entered the pool again, of course. But yeah, I feel like a lot of times this guy plays unsound chess, but he's, he's very crafty and he makes good decisions, um, like decisions to pressure you. So he's very, very difficult to play. All right. Capital G. This is Kazem Gulamali. So... I think in this one we'll probably get a king's Indian. Um, yeah, I'll go here. Bishop g5. It's an interesting move. Mm, I don't know if he can play that in this position. Guess I'll just do this. He can bring his knight to c5, but yeah, I have this idea. G5 would be interesting right now. He does play it. I'll bring this back. Uh, let's go here. Yeah, he can do that, can't he? Mm-hmm. All right, let's just go here. Thing is, I'm going to lose a piece now, I believe. Check. Um, yeah, this is not good. This is not good. Got to go here or something. This Check. is just awful. Okay. Uh, let's push. But yeah, not, not to my advantage at all here. Just pain. Only pain. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Okay, resign. That was a bad game. Cosm I've had trouble with lately. 
play this Urimi guy again. Uh, let's go e6. This is like a flexible setup for white. I mean, taking with the e pawn is good. I like my position. Let's go a5 just to stop him from um, pushing b4. I'm happy to give up my bishop pair because I have a solid position otherwise. So no worries on that end. I think I'm going to try to bring my knight over to the king side. And maybe he's probably going to play b4. Maybe I'll go g5 now. Meanwhile, I think he's going to go for some sort of minority attack type setup. Um, let's do this because I'm trying to get my get rid of my double pawn. Maybe we'll exchange a little bit. Let's see if he'll swap his dark square bishop for my dark square bishop. He does not want to do that. It's fine. I'll go here. Maybe I can swing my queen over. Let's go here. Now I'll try to advance d4. He does not want that. Okay, I'll go here. Just no, he doesn't. He wants to undermine my knight on c4. That would be good for him. Let's see if he takes that pawn. I think he probably can actually. Hate to have to put my knight on the side of the board like that. Time warning. It's kind of dominated on this square. Check. Yeah, he's gonna head Check. for a rook ending. We got a hustle in this rook ending. Not a fun rook ending to have to defend, but uh, you know it should be a draw. Problem is he can just Check. play forever. Like Check. Literally almost play forever in this one. Check. Just stay safe. Check. Let's go here. He's going to go there. Check. Yeah, I'm going to get flagged like hardcore in this one. Get flagged. Yeah, okay. I didn't have a chance to defend that really. All right, the doorpost is next. This person is pre moving a lot. Now we're in a Tarash, but I'm down a tempo. That's kind of funny. Okay. The doorpost. I like this opening. This is positive for me, I think. Let's try to exchange those dark square bishops. Let's go here. Just defend the center. I have some pressure in this position. Quite a bit of pressure, actually. Let's go here and open it up. Uh, hmm. Let's go here. And then here. Jump the knights in. Those lovely knights. H4. Now let's take. And then go here. He can take and then go queen Check. e5. That's probably what he'll do. Now I have knight e7, though, on the docket. Check. His queen is, like, running out of squares, sort of. Let's just keep chasing it. Might as well. And then push this pawn. It's difficult for him to move. Because he needs this rook to defend f7. You know, so... We'll go here. Put this rook back here. Maybe target the b pawn. Time warning. Let's go here. See if we can get a trade. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much winning now, uh, but let's try to kick his, this knight away. Okay. Check. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that win against the doorpost. Okay, let's back this up. Hmm. I feel like I can catch this guy pre-moving, but it's going to be tricky. Because he uh, he strikes me as someone who actually pre-moves in a smart way. So, I don't know. I don't know what my chances are to actually catch him. G5 would be a good move for him here. Hopefully he doesn't notice. He doesn't. Okay, this position is awesome. Yeah, he's not going to be having fun 
here if I can get coordinated. Uh, let's go queen d6. Better do that. He needs to play g5. He's not playing that move, but it would really behoove him to play it. Um, he's trying to bring his knights into, or his knight into a square to undermine. But g5, he has that move now. He's just not doing it. Uh, let's go g5 myself. Seems good. I'm going to push my c-pawn now. And he's going to have to... Uh, okay, let's go back here. Just defend that rook. He's going to have to resort to some sort of defensive move very soon. I'm just going to go rook b1 on the next move. Yeah, there's not much he can do. Time warning. Okay. I can take this guy. Let's just pin him. He's not going to do a lot of damage with this. Uh, let's go here. For g6, I can just take it. Yeah. All right, another win against the doorpost. I want capital G or Nedwist, though. Those guys are really interesting opponents. This guy at the doorpost has played a lot of games. He's played 68,000 games on the ICC. It's pretty insane, actually. Okay. We have this line again. Let's just do this this time. Play this in a more restrained manner. We'll attack his d6 pawn. Try to force him into uh, like a queen e7 type move. Let's go here. Now I'm going to play rook a d1 and try to attack his, uh, his d6 pawn. He can play f5 though. f5 is a little annoying. But regardless, I'll just retreat. He can take. I'll take back with my pawn. He will go here and attack this. Yeah, I like my position. I like it a lot. Can't really move too well here. I'm going to go here and open it up. Okay. Um, let's go here. Let's see what he has to say about that. G3. Don't want to take quite yet on uh, F3. I want to bide my time and see how that pans out. I have a huge time advantage now. Check. So I hope time be able warning. to exploit that. Okay, he hung his queen. This is bad, and I'm going to win. Yeah, okay. Next game, Fio Stone. That was a much better game against Kazem in the last game. Kazem Gulamali, capital G. All right, let's go for this exchange variation. Um, oh, I actually didn't play this in the way that I wanted to play this, but whatever. <laughs> What can you do? Uh, B4. Let's trade. Let's trade rooks. That knight is a problem for you. I'm going to maneuver this knight to C4. He can't really move his bishop too well. Let's play F3. That's just a good safeguarding move. If he takes, I'll take with uh, with that knight, probably. We'll go here. That's fine. Bishop D2 is okay. Now I can play H3 on the next move. Really? Knight C rook to that square, huh? Alright, let's do this. Let's do that. What? You just give me this piece? Okay. Ooh, C5 was hanging. I have to defend that. Do not want C5 to fall by the wayside. Okay, I can just take here. Um, safe spot for my rook. Oh, his bishops are annoying. Let's get in here. Check. Check. His bishops are very annoying. 
Check. Mm -hmm. Check. Well, Time. I want to run my king Check. up the board into the heart of his position. Check. I'll do that, and then we'll take this guy. And hopefully, like, set some sort of mating net. Check. Uh, let's get this involved. Check. Hmm. Check mate. Wow. I just kind of got mated there by his bishops and rook. I probably missed a force mate myself. Yeah, I definitely did. Just bishop e7, king e8, knight f6. That was an annoying end to that game. <laughs> and I was up on time, too. My king was, like, a little bit unsafe. For a while, I couldn't coordinate these these dumb knights. They kept, like, stepping on each other. And his bishop was restricting this knight. I mean, it's technically one for white. No doubt about that. But just couldn't figure it out. Hmm. Okay. So I'm at 25-38. Hope I get another good game. A lot of good players in the pool right now. I'm recording this at uh, about 4.30 central time on a Saturday. Yeah, Nedwis for Sir John. I mean, see very healthy ratings here. Here we got the doorpost again. That time I tried to catch him pre-moving, but it didn't work. Yeah, he just plays extremely fast. I don't know how he's able to stop on a dime, basically. It's kind of, um, in a way, it's sort of impressive. We'll do this, and then let's take that way. So now he's just a lot worse. I'm going to take that knight, and then put this knight in here. This is like a this is a great position. Uh, let's just do this. He plays really fast, but pretty pretty bad, honestly. Now he's going to do something like h4 and try to attack me down the file. Um, let's just go, let's go trade, and then here. Yeah, that was slightly annoying. This guy will do anything to avoid a queen trade. Okay, let's just take, uh, let's go here. Mm. Check. Attack his bishop. Okay, this that was not a good move by him. So I'm gonna win a piece. Um, let's go here. Let's Check. Try to bring our rook in. Check. Check. Thank you for the queen, and he resigned. All right, I've got the doorpost number right now. I've got his number, and I will catch him pre-moving at some point. He plays like these really like bullety openings. Oh, Sir John. Okay, this is this is an interesting opponent, fellow. I am. Let's see what line he throws at me. Maybe the main line. This line's okay for White. It's an aggressive line. Played it against against this before on this channel. Um, I don't want to mess up though like I did last time in playing this line. So this is the thing that you do. Let's go here. And if he wants to go after that, I think he has to allow me some play. Oh, he can take there. Okay, we're going to sack the exchange. Um, I think I have that in between move to go and try to win f2. So I win the bishop. It's convenient. It's a nice in-between move. Okay, let's just go here. Let's back that up, keep the threat on F2. Might as well. Check. Check. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Check. Let's go here. Check. Hmm. Let's go here. Try a new way to get at him. 
I mean, clearly this is really, really good for me. I'm just kind of struggling like how to, um, okay, now I blundered. That was a big blunder. Time uh, warning. Big blunder by me. Now I can go G5, yeah. Let's go here. All right, ugh, frustrating game. Check. Yeah, I can't take that. All right, I resign. No, he has no time left. Check. Check. All right, I lost some time. I was about to resign and then I realized he had like very little time left. That definitely should have been my game. All right, so gotta get this one back. Let's just go bishop e3. That hung my pawn. That was not a good idea. Let's see if I can get this here. Mm hmm. Let's go g4. Strategically, this is not a good idea. Because you can go knight h7. Yeah, I should have realized that. This is an awful position, actually. <laughs> Oh, it gets worse. I dropped my G-pawn. Great. Great. He can go queen h4. Okay. It's getting kind of weird, but not weird good, weird bad for me. Now you can check me on d3. Check. And go win my f4 check. pawn. He likes that, uh, he likes check. that knight. I would too if I were him. Mm. I mean, I guess I have a little bit of counterplay. I've seen much, much worse positions, let's put it that way. Uh, but still, this is not fun to play. That knight is killing me. Time. Just really killing me. Check. You know, I might just sack for it, just because. Just because it's really... An irritating piece. Oh man, that's a good move. Check. 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 Yeah, okay, fine. I resign. All right, Sir John, you're kind of killing me right now. I'll repeat this line because I like the way that turned out. I'll go bishop g4. Check. Let's give a check here. This is a line too. This is also a line. Um, I forget what I do in this position. Let's just develop. He can come at me with his pawns, just like he's doing here. Uh, okay, let's just go king b8. That was a bad move. I don't know why I did that. Nevertheless, I might have a little bit of compensation. Maybe a little bit. Okay, let's just try to try to invade maybe. Uh, let's go here. Maybe I can stick my knight on d6. I can bring my knight into, or my rook into b3. What that? Time. Check. Now he'll invade. He's playing much faster this game. Check. Check. Oh, I got your rook. Check. He resigned. Sir John again. Mm, this line is fun. I'll go G4. This is a great bullet opening. 
Let's see if he'll take my pawn. Nope, he does not want to take it. We'll go here now. Rook g1. Just advance. I'm gonna try to weaken his uh, king a little bit by doing that move. Check. Maybe check and just take this pawn now. Probably play knight c6. Maybe he'll play b5 to try to catch me pre-moving. Nope, he does not. Bishop e6. All very solid moves. Probably castle queenside soon. Let's go here. Yeah, castling queenside is a good idea. Let's just take that guy. He's planning some rook a4 business I didn't like. Um, let's just go here. Don't want to lose my g6 pawn. Thing is, I might might have to lose it. Hmm. Yeah, this game was not going well for me. He had knight d4 check, I think, on the previous move. All right, I guess I'll play an end game. I'll try to beat him to the file. Time warning. Strangely, I think my chances are better in this end game. Well, better than they were, I should say. Check. Better than they were just a moment ago. Check. 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 Ooh, tricky. Very tricky. Very, very tricky, Sir Check. John. Check. 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 Oh, man. He's fast. Oh, that was, that was bad. Who is this guy again? Jonas Georgidas. Yeah, he totally flagged me that time. Let's go here. Just going to try to play this in an accelerated fashion. Let's take that pawn. See if he'll give me a check on g4. Check. He doesn't want to trade queens. That, that much is clear. Oops, I dropped my f7 pawn. He didn't see it, though. Hmm, dare me to take it, or dare me to play b6, but I can't play b6, so I'll go here. Now he should move his bishop back, but... Mm-hmm. Check. Okay. My position's not good. I'll try to find counterplay somehow, but... Check. Not a great, great position at all. Okay, you just let me have that piece for some reason. Go here now to restrict his knight. Check. Make sure his knight can't cause me trouble. Check. Yeah. He is busted now. Check. Okay. Let's just go and win that C pawn. Check. I don't care that I lose my other pawns. I really don't. Check. Time. Because I'm probably going to queen that pawn. Check. Yeah. This pawn is going to queen. And he's flagging. All right, so a little measure of revenge. He still kind of got the best of me in those games, though. Yeah, I was 2-3 and three against him. I, this game was... Ugh. I mean, I was worse for much of this game, but at the end, I definitely should have won. I spent too long, like, actually trying to find the win, and he was just playing lightning-fast moves. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play one or two more games, and we'll wrap up then. See what we got going on with the top players. Oh, Nedwis. Maybe I'll get Nedwis next. Who's back soon? There's all these like random 2500s. I have no idea who they are. All right, Nedwis. All right, here we go. Mikola Bortnik. Again, 
my nemesis. He's playing a delayed Schleeman, or not Schleeman, Mycie's Gambit. Let's go here and try to undermine his center. Let's go like this. Try to kick that knight out of there. Once again, I love my position. It's quite a good position. Yep. Check. He's gonna sack something. Uh, that sacrifice was actually sound. Contrary to his usual sacrifices. Check. Okay, this one I can trade queens with him next. Yeah, I'll be able to trade queens. So I managed to escape some potentially Check. nasty stuff that could Check. happen. All right, another great, great end game. If I don't blow it. Okay, we'll just put our bishop back on a d8 whenever he pushes that. And he hung his rook. All right, one more game. Last game against Nedwis. Okay, this line is not that great for me, but you know, we'll see what happens. Play a3. He always does something sketchy. Just give him time. He always does something. He'll sacrifice something or Otherwise, play a move that normally you wouldn't want to play. Like, here he's going to go d4. That's actually a very good idea. <laughs> so, you know, I might eat crow on this one. We'll see. Play f3. Just try to be solid. Okay. He's going to sack on e4. No, he did not. Surprising. Very surprising. I think he missed a potentially good move there. Let's just go after that pawn. I don't want to lose b2. Wow, I'm surprised he's trading so much with me. Check. Let's go here. I'm going to get the queens off the board. He's not letting me, though. Okay, now I think I nearly can. Yeah, I think I can get the queens off. Check. Okay, gotta be careful. Just undermine these pawns. Time warning. Check. Hmm. How to win this? Check. 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 Okay. Now I'm going to get this guy. Oh, Check. Man. Check. 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 Okay. All right. So a little flag at the end. Um, I ended with a 2565 rating. And let's just check the stats. Let me minimize that a little bit. Okay, so I started against, we played a pretty long session today, Yurim Tumen, and yeah, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wins, and one, two, three, four, five, six losses. So ten and six, no draws, and our rating increased a little bit. Uh, on the best list, what are we at? Best one. All right, I'm right here. Some good players again. Ooh, Depressniak. Isn't this uh, Grishuk? I think that's supposed to be Grishuk. Mateos is MVL. Maxime Vachier Lagrave. So, oops, where'd that go? So he's he's good. Don't know who Double Entendres is. And then some young guys who are very good. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed that bullet video. And I'll be back again tomorrow with some more bullet action. Thanks for watching, guys.